We came here because of an inner compulsion. We are so much in love with this area that we feel compelled to do something which can make it possibly a little better. And whatever happens here is not because we are social do-gooders, we don't want to change the world really, but it's kind of an expression of thankfulness for being here, an expression of joy. I think really what makes our work special is that total trust in the capabilities of the local community. It's a very beautiful experience because there's so much trust. We had no theories of how to involve the community and yet the community is actually involved in the work. The whole thing stands on the shoulders of the community. The more you trust, the more comes back. For us, it was so much learning. I mean, I don't know what we have given anything at all, but a lot has been given to us. We've learned a lot. I mean, working with the community here, people have so much to share because the way they look at life, the way they see life, life experiences, is still very, very grounded. The acceptance of the reality of life is what we also learned. It's a friendship we have with the community. It's not even a relationship. And it's, it's not in the formal term of development work. Our work is very informal. Our organization is very informal. Everything is very, very organic. It grows together. All our work is with people. It integrates people with participation of the community and in the decision-making process. And there's a lot of building of trust and friendship. With that trust building now, whatever activity is begun in the village on the basis of discussions and you know uh, expressions of interest from the community, they all are taken up with great seriousness and people want to participate, they want to take it forward. So it is not just Avani doing a program, you know? it becomes of the community. All the people involved with management of the organization, whether it is people in the program, people handling administration accounts, are all from villages where we work. They are from quite remote rural villages, not necessarily very highly educated. But our focus has been capacity building of rural youth of this area. Because our job has been to create an opportunity where usually people would not have access to an opportunity to explore their own potential. So a person who joined us as a cook and was working as a cook for three years is now handling 250 artisans. He's the in charge of a center. He handles stocks, he has learnt weaving, he has learnt natural dyeing and to see him grow from strength to strength that he can do all this, you know. And not only him, the woman who's in charge of one of our other centers, she can just probably read alphabet. She not only mobilized the entire community, she set up the center, handled all expenses, has mobilized her group to work there as artisans and is now getting land together to build a training center. So it's a process that's very satisfying also to see people change over the years, you know, and uh, become really you know, capable of handling so many things which they had not thought they would be able to do or would ever have the opportunity of doing that, you know. We trained women in fields which were considered the domain of men, for example, technology. We've had young girls who are fifth standard pass. They can manufacture an entire lantern, make it functional and sell it in the village. And this was something amazing because they would never have dreamed of doing that. It's men who bring technology to the house, not the women, you know? Similarly, a lot of the management functions in the organization are, are by the women. Program in charges are women. They are handling stocks, they are handling accounts, they are handling uh, information which usually a man would handle. And that has changed how, you know, the, especially the younger women who are not married yet, how they look at life, their expectations from life, you know. 
they become financially independent they learn to make decisions on their own handle their own money work hard learn new things so their whole life perspective has changed and how they will deal with their daughters i think will be very different because of what they've experienced here together many things happening parallelly one is the program aspect of the work which is to do with different initiatives that are happening in the village but the other is the experiment that's happening with the group that's working with the organization at avni it's a community living a lot of the people are from totally different areas different castes different social backgrounds what it has done is it's an experiment in community living to learn to live with others to learn to care for each other as people the courage to take the risk this we learned from osho and so many times we've done it i mean just shifting here we had no background of this work we had no not much support because this was not something that is was very acceptable in terms of the work that we do we going and living in a remote jungle people i mean our families were also not very happy about it now of course they are proud of what we do but at that time it was difficult having been with osho actually gave us the confidence to mm, take up the challenge of going into the unknown and yeah. it's been very very rewarding i must say osho has said no that yeah leave the earth a little more beautiful than you found it and that's religion huh?